Hello and welcome back to the channel. So there's a lot of stirring about today concerning this man right here. He is the creator of the Dilbert character. So USA Today and uh, other newspapers have decided to drop the Dilbert comic um, after the creator uh, says some terrible things. Of course, you know, there are always things about so-called black people, right? Uh, now, it seems to me that there is this, this, I can't call it a misunderstanding. I'm just going to call it a very, very intentional, um, switching around of what happens in this world, right? I'm going to get into this article first. I want you all to hear what this man said and why they decided to take such moves. A lot of companies and, you know, outlets, they're, they're just saying, look, we want to distance ourselves from this stuff because, you know, some of it is just too blatant right? And so they want to distance themselves from these things because they don't want to be known for any of this. Not to say that they have any righteousness in them um, in particularly, but they just want to distance themselves from people who just come right out and like, boom, this is how we feel about those folks, right? So anyway, numerous uh, newspapers, um, including USA Today, announced that they will stop running the widely syndicated comic strip Dilbert after the creator described people who are black, listen, listen y'all, as part of a hate group that white people should get away from. Wow. <laughs> now y'all know why something like that is very problematic. Why is that? Po that's problematic on so many levels, right? Because you have to keep in mind that they are the ones who invaded black lands, right? They invaded black lands. Now they're saying, so who do you suggest leaves? Did you say get away from? Do you mean you're going to go back to wherever you came from? Or do you plan on sending them away from? I mean, what is it? Anyway, Scott Adams, the creator of the strip that debuted in 1989 that pokes fun at office culture, uh, received backlash from comments he made Wednesday on his YouTube channel, Real Coffee with Scott Adams. As news organizations announced they were pulling the comic strip because of Adams' remarks, uh, the comic strip creator continued to defend his remarks. Now, now get this. <clears throat> they have a history of doing things to us. Now, they call us a, a hate group, right, that they should get away from. But they have laid their hands on us for centuries. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about slavery. I'm talking about Jim Crow, all of that, even after slavery. Uh, they have, they didn't just have mental thoughts against us. They were deleting people, you know, simply for skin color, right? To, to, to even try to defend that it's like it's like their their feelings are just coming out and it's like they have the I can't help us he, he's like look I want you to know how I feel about these people he wants you to know how he feels okay now the backlash against Adams began Wednesday when he referenced a Rasmussen reports survey that had asked whether people agreed with the statement um, it's okay to be white most agreed but um, Adams noted that 20% of black respondents disagreed and others weren't sure. The Anti-Defamation League says the phrase was polarized, popularized in 19, I'm sorry, in 2017 um, as a trolling campaign by members of the discussion forum for Chan, but then began being used by some white supremacists. Adams, who is white, repeatedly referred to people who are black as members of a hate group or a racist um, hate group and said we would have no longer, he, he said we would no longer help black Americans. Uh, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I give to white people is to get the hell away from black people, Adams said. Wow. I'm not surprised by that. They've always felt that way. Even when they were taking us from the, you know, continent of Africa, um, those who they were taking from the continent of Africa, because there were black people here first before when, when they got here, there were black people already here. Right. And those that they went to take, um, when they were taking them, they always felt that way. They just felt like they were going to keep their foot on your neck. So of course they will deal you deal with you as long as they can use you. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. I'm not telling anything that is not historically true, right? 
but it sounds like he's saying that they should do something based on us being whatever they project a lot this is what they have been towards us those who have been this way now we do know and realize that not all of them have been this way but for those who have those who have made life a literally a living hell for so-called black people this is what they have been to us they have been that racist hate group towards us right and biblically speaking the bible says that we should come out from among them and be ye separate that's what the bible says right the bible literally says come out from among them and be ye separate and it's talking about the followers of the most high and the children of the most high by blood right be separate from who all of these uh, groups of people who the bible also says we're going to have this perpetual hatred against us but um, anyway, I'm not surprised. These types of statements, they just um, they just bubble to the surface. As, as you can see on the side of the screen here too, um, let me scoot this over a little bit because I don't really want to have to cover a separate story on this, okay? But as you can see on the side of the screen here too, Elon Musk is on his side, right? He's on his side. So he's a trip too. You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> born in South Africa, I believe. South African parents, but what does that mean anything? Does that mean anything at all? <laughs> now he wants to, he's calling out the media for taking a stance on this. Mr. South African, right? Okay, so he thinks is that is now he's not making the separation and saying uh, criminals, right? But this is how you know their their hearts many of their hearts okay are just against us like the bible said it would be it said that they would have this perpetual hatred that was going to burn in them forever right he didn't say get away from bad blacks he just said get the hell away from black people right very strong words so where can you go on this planet right this whole planet and usually what they do is they delete you is there any lie in that statement they go to these black indigenous areas and they either infiltrate through dropping their seed in to white you out through blanqueamento or they delete you altogether so who needs to get the heck away from who who's been dangerous to who who has been dangerous to whom so the newspapers that pull uh, Dilbert and condemn his comments are USA Today Network, um, USA Today and other newspapers by Jeanette, um, such as the Arizona Republic, the, the Detroit Free Press. Um, they all announced it would stop publishing Dilbert due to recent discriminatory comments by its creator. Other news organizations also did the same. The Los Angeles Times, New York Times, the Washington Post, the Plain Dealer in Cleveland, uh, San Antonio News Express, um, and he defends his comments. Okay, so in another episode on his online show, Saturday Adams said he had been making a point that everyone should be treated as an individual without discrimination, and you should absolutely uh, be racist whenever it's to your advantage. But you should also avoid any group that doesn't respect you, even if there are people within the group who are fine, Adams said. Adams has also continued to defend his remarks on Twitter, noting that he was getting canceled. Of course you're getting canceled. What do you expect to be uplifted? But you can you rest assured that Twitter, Mr. Um, Elon Musk, he's going to uplift you. He's going to keep you there. Now, now note what he said here. Note what he said here. He said that Everyone should be treated as an individual without discrimination. And you should, you should absolutely be a certain way whenever it's to your advantage. Okay. So in other words, he's saying be a selfish scumbag, right? Then he says, but you should also avoid any group that doesn't respect you. Even if there are people within the group who are fine. So basically he's saying, even if there are black people are, who are fine, still avoid all of them if they don't respect you. And so my question is this, who the hell do you think you are that you deserve respect based on your history? So listen, y'all, listen, based on your history against so-called black people, these are the kinds of topics that really push buttons because you say to yourself, what makes you think you deserve respect after how you've been towards our people? 
That's the thing that gets me. They still expect you to respect them. They expect you to respect them regardless of what they do to you. You out here deleting people, deleting whole tribes, infiltrating neighborhoods, setting folk up, taking folk out, little children, Tamir Rice, 12 years old, a history of um, black bodies hanging from the popular tree burning crosses, all kinds of things, but you expect to be respected? This is why the Bible talks about that perpetual thing that was going to burn in them forever and ever, right? And that they would do things to, to, to you and find themselves not guilty. This statement is pure wetico. Pure wetico. This is a person who feels like they can do whatever they want and you still better respect me. This is a person who has a knife thrust into your back, twisting and turning it, and saying, why are you hurting me? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look at that. So your history, which is deplorable, even, even other so-called white people are saying that some of the worst crimes in human history have been committed by them against others, right? Right? But he got the nerve to say that we... We're supposed to respect them. Who the hell do you think you are? This is why, this is why the Most High is going to continue to deal with this earth. This is why he have dates established already. He already have some set times, y'all. And for those of you who can't, can't understand why we talk about these things, this is biblical prophecy. If you don't want to deal with biblical prophecy, go back to La La Land and fall asleep. Okay? Biblical prophecy says that there were going to be people who were going to be this way towards us. Right? But it also tells you that because these people will not repent. Because they will not repent. You know what the Most High said he's going to do? He says he is going to rain down terror upon this planet. These people who call him God. Yes, God is going to visit you. All those who refuse to repent, but you digging your heels into your evil and your wickedness. Now what he's saying, I mean, technically, this is what we're supposed to be doing. But so-called black people, they, they love to cozy up with people who can't stand them. People who done told you time and time again. Uh, li listen, Mr. Dilbert is telling you, look, I can't stand you. Even if you're one of the good ones, I don't want to be near you. We need to get the hell away from you. This is what this man is saying. While they have gone from continent to continent, country to country, wreaking havoc on indigenous populations, stealing, killing, destroying, infiltrating the bloodline, dropping their seed, you know, R-A-P-I-N-G, -E, the black women. Your history is such that you want it buried. You don't, you want to make laws against teaching all of the, the evil wickedness, the perniciousness you all have placed upon the planet. Y'all want to make laws, making it illegal to even talk about it. That's how horrible it is. Now I'm going to say this for all of my white viewers who come on this channel and you know who the people of the Bible are. You know who we are historically. You accept that. You too serve the Most High. And you too believe that it, it was sinful acts that your ancestors have done. I have no qualms with you. I have no problems with you. As long as you stay in the covenant. As long as you say that you're going to serve the Most High with gladness. And come before his presence with singing. As long as you are going to keep that repentant heart. As long as you are going to accept the truth for what it is, right? Because we had to accept our truth. Our truth was that we were so disobedient to our father that he brought these things upon us. We have to accept that and acknowledge it. We can't make excuses and say coulda, shoulda, woulda. We can't do that. If we have to acknowledge the sins of our forefathers, then you've got to acknowledge the sins of your forefathers as well. Instead of trying to push it under a rug and pretend like it didn't happen because just like the most high visited his punishment as he said he would on us don't think for one moment that he's not going to visit it on all these other nations too as a matter of fact he has already started and he is about to turn up the heat y'all 
As a matter of fact, he has already turned it up. And there is going to be a continual escalation based on biblical prophecy. This ain't nothing to get mad over. This is something to get very concerned over. And say, listen, I am going to be one of those with a heart of repentance. This man on the screen right here, the way he feels, Bible says, if you despise my people, Yahushua, the one who the world calls Jesus, he said, if you despise my people, you despise me. So there is no hope for this man right here. See, you got folk thinking they can tiptoe around on earth and then they're going to gallivant around heaven for all eternity while at the same time despising the children of the covenant. Don't work like that. Like Yahushua said, the one who the world calls Jesus, he said, if you despise my people, you despise me too. It is what it is. So he can keep that. If you want to keep that, you want to say that even the good ones, you y'all need to get the hell away from us. I mean, y'all should, well, then y'all should have never invaded black lands to begin with. But see, there's a whole story about your origins. You come from us, dude. Don't forget that. The human bloodline was infiltrated. A lot of scientists know this and they even speak on it. So I'm not saying anything that has not already been said. But you all come from black people. You wouldn't exist without black people. That's the problem that folk like Mr. Dilbert here. Of course, that's not his name. That's his comics name, his, you know, storyline. But that's what people like him don't realize. Y'all came from us. And the pride of your heart has deceived you, man. The pride of your heart has deceived you. Yes, it has. And one of these days, you are going to have to stand before the Most High. And all of those who think and act like you, you're going to have to stand before the Most High. And when you stand before him, you're going to look at him. You're going to be like, oh, my. It's going, mm, mm, mm. That's why the scriptures say every knee going to bow. That's right. Every tongue going to confess. They ain't going to have no choice. Every knee is going to bow. And every tongue is going to confess. If I were you, I would start bowing now, but many will not do that. They will not humble themselves because the pride of their heart has deceived them. I'm done with this, y'all. You know I can keep going on and on about this because the stuff that these people feel in them is definitely perpetual. It's like they really do have the I can't help it. They feel such a way about us to the point they can't help it. They're like, I just can't. I don't like those people. And they can't even tell you why they don't. They will try to point to criminals and thugs and all of this kind of stuff while at the same time hiding the statistics that show that wild crime is just as bad as Bob crime. Wild crime is white on white. Bob crime is black on black. They know good and doggone well stuff is happening in their communities to where they're deleting each other too. But they keep that out of the news so much. They want you to think that every black person is the boogeyman while at the same time, they globe trot all over this planet, wreaking havoc on indigenous communities, starting wars, deleting whole tribes. Just, man, history is right there. That's why they're trying to hide it. Because they know, they know the truth is just so shameful and deplorable and despicable. I could sit here and I could tell y'all that some things that our people have done are despicable. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it wasn't. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. The, the stuff that our people have done historically got us in this situation that we're in right now where the Most High said, I'm going to turn my back on you. And I'm going to unleash the ruthlessness of these other nations upon you. But those who participate in this, these who were so wicked to where they were willing participants, I'm coming for them too. In a day that I will yet choose my people and lift the judgment off of them. I will turn it around on these other nations who thought they was getting away with something. You ain't getting away with nothing. I'm done, y'all.